Each set of cards is like a mini recipe book. Imagine the book being divided up by appetizers, salads, entrees, and desserts. Our life practice recipe cards are created in their own categories. However, remembering that we believe in authentic life practice, we like to see students doing things and being things as they go through their days at school. So instead of leading with content, such as math, science, language arts, etc., we categorize the cards based on what students will practice being in the project, staying mindful of the creativity and the arts as essential but often lost foundational pieces for student engagement. Our seven categories are time travelers, artists and inventors, historian challenges, storytellers, problem solvers, scientist challenges, and career in technology education. Each of the categories is represented in each set with its own unique recipe card for teachers to use. As we look at the actual cards, we can see they're set up in a similar way as a recipe card. On the right, we see a photo and a title of the project, which we call our anchoring artifacts. You'll also notice a brief explanation of the work students will be doing. We know that these are projects that students will love, partly because they excite the imagination, but partly because they don't seem to be a part of the traditional classroom experience. Regardless, we assure you that there is ample learning to be had for each of the projects at the elementary, middle school, and high school levels, regardless of which card you have. As we look at the picture, we imagine that some teachers may have trouble seeing themselves in that project. For instance, in our project called Pompeian Circumstance, where students are learning about the Greek volcano explosion and are creating a plan for evacuation, a math teacher may have trouble seeing how math can fit into that plan, as it seems to be a social studies lesson. For that reason, we have created an ingredients list where core content areas are outlined with standards-based driving questions listed in each subject area. Using these ingredients for quality learning, a single teacher can implement cross-curricular work or pairs of teacher can partner. The best case scenario is when an entire team of content experts come together to support student learning in a fully fleshed cross-curricular project. Students are seeing where math and reading collide with science and social studies. The novice chef or teacher new to project-based learning can take these ingredients and start cooking, but the more advanced chef or experienced PBL teacher can use these ingredients as inspiration to substitute, combine, and cook marvelously exciting lessons for her students. As we turn the cards to the back, we can see two sections of the card. On the left, we have created an outline unique to each card that provides helpful guidelines for a teacher considering implementing this project. We highlight important aspects to consider before we start the project. How to launch the project with a bang, including what teams could be utilized in the project. We don't ever lead con with content teams, such as the math team or the science team. Instead, we lead with teams that are action-oriented, such as the build team or the CSI team. You see, when students who might be reluctant or even downright refuse to take on a math challenge are asked to be on the build team for the Apollo 13 project, they are excited to build. And in the process of building, they end up doing math all day long with the purpose. In this first column, we also highlight what ways teachers can support the inquiry-based model during the project, as well as how to wrap up the project once the work is complete. Again, these are guidelines for suggestion. An advanced chef will find that these suggestions are strong beginnings, while the novice chef will find that these suggestions as a strong foundational footing to learn and grow professionally. Finally, I'd like to point out that the tips and tricks on the right of the card are unique to each card and are there to help any teacher implement a PBL environment every single day, supporting an open and caring community of learners. Don't forget that each card also has the URL of our lifepracticepbl.org website where you can go to ask questions and learn about customizing training just for you and your colleagues. We feel that these life practice PBL recipe cards are just the ticket to creating a nutritious and delicious learning environment for your students.